Hello Libra, welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, this is going to be a love reading um, about you and the person that you are thinking about. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Libra watching, so keep that in mind. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to make this story fit if it's not for you. Um, and check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate for you. Sometimes your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign can resonate more than your sun sign. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm using the Ojo Zen Tarot deck here. All the decks that I use are linked down below. And I'm using this as an Oracle deck for Libra. What does Libra need to know regarding the person they are thinking about at this time? What does Libra need to know what's going on? Postponement, delays waiting and patience okay so something hasn't happened for your connection yet the miser someone's holding back or being uh selfish they're keeping someone waiting guilt maybe they feel bad about that one more please This person could also just not be giving you something. Isolation, wow, this is painful for you. Some of you are wondering, like, am I the only one that wants this? Celebration at the bottom. Postponement, the miser, guilt, isolation. A lot of air energy here. Someone feels guilty, but it's like, It's like they feel guilty for pushing someone away, for delaying something, for being selfish. Oops. Okay, it's just that clip. So let's get more insight here into your person, Libra. Tell me about Libra's person spirit. What do I need to know about them? What do I need to know about Libra's person spirit? Elk. What else do I need to know about Libra's person? So this person that you're dealing with is a very uh, stable person, grounded person. They could be a parent. They could be older, very detail oriented. A little, they care a little bit too much about how things look, how things appear. They focus too much on details and not enough on the bigger picture probably. This mouse is like too obsessed with the details. What else for this person? What else? I don't want to take a card yet. For a Libra's person. And I feel like you are picturing a future with this person. Watching and waiting. It's like they don't want to make a move yet. Even though they, you know, they might feel guilty about it, but they're not making a move yet. Why are some of my cards reversed here? Um, let me look at this mouse real quick. He's Earth, yep. Yeah. Small-minded, nitpicky, nervous. Tend to the details, fixing, preparing, organizing, scrutinizing. They don't notice when they've gone too far. 
they could try to control every detail. So it's almost like this, this elk wants things to be absolutely perfect because they care how things appear. And so it just keeps causing delays here. They could also be trying to deal with a situation in their life where it's like they're trying to have complete control over the situation, but instead of like finding a solution for that situation, they're just delaying it. Yeah, this this is this crocodile basically is just thinking inwardly. Now is not the time for decisions, action, or discussion. They're waiting. Intentionally withdrawing. Observing. It's like they're just watching and waiting for the right moment. And in the meantime, they could lose something here with you. Let's see. This is the Crow Tarot. Spirit, tell me. Tell me what this is about for Libra. So I'm going to be doing a you and them spread. So I'll have you on one side and them on the other. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Okay, so we'll start with you, Libra, if I could grab my cards. Tell me about Libra. Just Libra people. What's going on with Libra in this connection? Knight of Pentacles. An offer, an opportunity. Slow offer. This elk was definitely Pentacles energy. He's like the king of pentacles in that deck. Knight of Swords. So it's almost like there's an offer coming your way, Libra. But it's very slow. Like the opposite of fast. <laughs> and then I have your Seven of Swords. So be careful with that because there could be that, you know, this person you're dealing with could be wanting to be Mr. or Mrs. Strategy, and they could even be deceptive, possibly not telling you the whole story, trying to avoid um, confrontation, maybe. Tell me more for Libra, please. One more. And you're like over here feeling like things have just, you've been waiting too long, almost. Like, is this ever gonna happen? Six of Swords. I just realized that for Gemini, I saw this card as Six of Wands. And I talked about success, but this is a Six of Swords. Interesting. Six of Swords. Leaving a situation in order to head moving, transitioning leaving a, a difficult situation towards a more peaceful situation. You might be considering leaving this situation or leaving a situation you're in because I think you're tired of waiting. Interesting. Maybe you're tired of the the strategy, the deception, the being pushed back. Tell me about your person. Ace of Cups. Tell me about Libra's person. So they have a lot of love for you, it seems like here. Ten of Cups, definitely. They want it all over here. What else for Libra's person? The Empress Reverse. Maybe they're not able to manifest. They don't have all the resources, or they could be dealing with an Empress Reverse, which tends to be very controlling energy. 
They're hard at work on something though. Even if it hasn't manifested for them, they're hard at work. Strength card at the bottom here. Very interesting. I wonder if you realize that they're working really hard on something. Maybe you don't care about all of the details though. Like you might be like, I don't even, I don't even want all that. I just want us to begin to have this work out. I want to move forward with you. What's happening in this connection spirit between Libra and this person? Page of Wands reverse. What else for Libra? The chariot reverse. Okay. So there's no movement here. This waiting energy. That holding back energy. Someone's holding back even though they feel genuine feelings for you. Or it could be vice versa. Four of Wands though. Maybe you want something here to, maybe you're waiting for this person to propose. Maybe you're waiting to move in with this person. Maybe you want this person to move closer to you or you want to move closer to them. Something with home and harmony here and the chariot. I think of moving, you know, I think of wanting to move forward. Something here has not been able to start. Four of Pentacles, there's that holding back. Someone's holding back. Someone's holding back and it's keeping this from, from happening, this Four of Wands. Someone's literally stuck, why? Tell me about this chariot reverse. It could be that someone needs to shift paths, change direction, choose a different path. Tell me about the chariot reverse. This is six of cups. Yeah. Six of cups reverse. Something to do with the past here is keeping someone stuck. Tell me more. Okay. The Lovers, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like this person really wants to communicate how they feel, apologize possibly. They want Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, and they want union with you. Uh, you know, literally have the Lovers here. They want to, they've chosen you. And then there's no movement. So this is very frustrating, I imagine, for both of you in this connection. Now there could be a genuine, uh, a, a real reason why they're holding back. There's that holding back again. There could be a real reason why they're holding back, even though they want it all with you. Let's see, tell me about this Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords doing here? Oh. Death reversed. So someone's strategizing because they're resisting change. Let's see, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Or it could be they're being deceptive. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Four of Swords reversed. One more, please. Ten of Wands reversed.
someone is being is avoiding something here a, 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 um, a conversation a decision someone's avoiding you or lying to you or this could be you to them but there's someone here who's not being completely honest about ending something about dropping a burden about taking action it's like the feelings are there the intention is there but in in, in when it comes to action they're not moving they're not dropping a burden they're not changing anything and i think you're considering walking away from this person ten of swords reverse at the bottom there the t the death card reverse scorpio energy by the way this is someone who's resisting and ending doesn't want something to end or change this could be you not wanting something to end or change between you but then you know it's like why also have no like dropping a burden not wanting to drop a like the the ten of wands reversed it's like the burden's being dropped because they no longer can carry it not because they did it themselves and the four of swords this is like after doing a lot of thinking now i'm ready to act but that hasn't happened yet because when they're ready to it's like almost like they're ready to speak up about something but there's that death card reverse it's so weird this person i feel like up till now it's only been words and ideas someone wants to avoid this death and the ten of wands now this could be you or this could be your person I don't know why I have the chills, but Ace of Swords reverse at the bottom with the higher font reverse. This is deception here or a, a lack of communication, lack of clarity. Tell me about this Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. The star. Aquarius energy. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Judgment reverse. I feel like you are, I mean, if this is you here, Libra. For me, it is, but feel free to flip it. Um, you're wondering if you made a mistake waiting for this person. You could be leaving a situation heading towards something that has more hope. Or maybe a mistake in the past, you're healing from it and able to transition into a more stable place. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Judgment reverse. This is a bad judgment call or a mistake of some sort. Not being able to see clearly. Karma too. This could have been a karmic situation that you're healing from or need to heal from. Nine of Wands. So, you know, it's like you've lost trust. You are very tired, tired of waiting, tired of dealing with this, with the emotions. You're feeling isolated, possibly, like you're alone in this connection. Um, you've put up 
walls against this person to protect yourself. All of this is on your side here. Even though you have a lot of love for them and there's feelings here. I feel like someone waited too long or they're not being honest about why it's taking so long. They're not being completely honest with um, with what hasn't been able to manifest or what this Empress here, what block they're dealing with here. The Empress tends to be a parent, a partner in a long-term connection. Tell me about the Empress reverse. About the Empress reverse. The Hermit reverse. What else about this Empress reverse? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Your person could still be attached to someone they want to escape from or withdraw from. They're not free from an Empress or they're not free. They're not secure. High Priest is at the bottom. You might not know this, but this Nine of Pentacles reverse, this is someone that's not single or not free, not independent, not secure. This hermit reverse is typically someone who runs away from a situation, withdraws completely from a situation. Sometimes they come back, but I just don't see that here with this Nine of Pentacles Empress reverse. It's almost like they're running away or um, trying to avoid this Empress reverse. They could also be ignoring their inner voice, their intuition here, not listening to their intuition. They're still attached to something. That's why it's like they're working on this though, but it, it's still, it's still happening like at this time. Like they're not fully free at this time. They're still avoiding at this time, running away, you know? You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, a Cancer, a water sign, an earth sign. I have earth a lot here. A Scorpio. Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but I'm mentioning them because they're here. But what I see here is a, a delay based off of one person. And I think, Libra, you're over it. Um, I think you, you're you tired. A lot of time has passed. Someone has waited too long and you're ready to move on. I feel like there's a lot of love here. Someone has the, the right intentions of like what they want but they're too focused on the details. They might be nervous about what they might lose based off of their decision. They might be nervous about, you know, like finances. They might not have the finances to do what they want to do. Maybe you were living with this person now or in the past. I mean, this person definitely wants to express how they feel, wants to wants to move towards you, but they, they can't or they refuse to at this time. You would know better than me what that's all about, but I see here significant delays. Like, I don't see them moving at all. In fact, it's the opposite. 
you could be married to this person or someone here could be married to someone else and that could be a block, especially if they're with an empress, if your person's with an empress energy, reversed. That empress is a serious block. They're used to getting their own way. They're used to having control over the situation. So they don't really give that up easily. They're also extremely upset. So, you know, not an easy uh, energy to deal with there. I'll leave it here. Uh, thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Please leave me a comment if this resonated with you. I love hearing from you. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.